Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 26th of September 2016. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, this morning it certainly seems that the Asian market certainly started off weak. We had the Shanghai and the Nikkei down more than 1%. Uh, certainly uh, a, a substantial sell-off in the Asian session. Emerging markets hit with Turkish potential downgrade. Uh, Moody's downgrade certainly hurting the Turkish lira. We've had concerns in Sweden with regards to potential terrorism as well. So, so again, hurting the uh, sentiment there. Okay, uh, additionally, we have uh, Deutsche Bank concerns this morning with regards to uh, Miss Merkel's comments over the weekend that she will not be uh, helping or aiding or assisting the uh, the actual bank itself. Okay, so again, uh, certainly putting the bank under uh, immense strain with the uh, Deutsche Bank making new lows. So let's bring up the, uh, the actual chart of Deutsche Bank for you. Bring up the European banking stocks. So sorry to start off with. So, daily chart European uh, banking stocks again certainly under pressure, and Deutsche Bank making uh, multi-week lows. Okay, uh, we've had uh, uncertainty with regards to Spain. Brexit concerns certainly seem to be back on the table. OPEC fairly we all know, although the uh, the actual Algiers meeting certainly uh, may well come to some sort of fruition, uh, given the comments from the uh, the actual uh, minister itself. Algerian energy minister states that he's hopeful. Now. A lot of the uh, bearish news from oil certainly pricing on Friday sell off in the US. Okay, again, Brexit concerns back in the spotlight. UK CBI optimism dropping uh, as well. Now, uh, the bearish news from my perspective certainly has been factored in now with the German IFO data coming out on the stronger side. Okay, and uh, the IFO economist stating that the, uh, the European Union certainly has overcome the uncertainty potential regarding uh, the uh, Brexit. We have had a, a dovish speech from Mr. Corroda. Although that hasn't helped the USD JPY uh, rally off uh, from above 101, uh, but again risk aversion certainly setting in, which is certainly hampering the uh, the ab ability and the effort there. Okay, the Nasdaq certainly seems to be dip have dipped below 4840, which was a key line, which I did highlight. Again, it was was quite instrumental, was very very pivotal. But again, let's just look at the uh, the actual technical picture for now. Let's uh, bring out the uh, German DAX first and foremost. We can see the German DAX certainly has closed the gap. Uh, on the uh, daily chart and of also on the 60 minute chart it can be seen uh, better okay so again you're into gap fill support at 10440 if the market continues to flush then the next gap it needs to close is 10395 okay that gap certainly is open and that gap certainly is vulnerable to being closed so keep an eye on 10395 as the next potential gap and then the ultimate gap is 10280 so for now it certainly seems that we have we are looking to potentially hold support at this first gap and then uh, we'll see exactly how the market unfolds. Now we have left an unfilled gap above, and again, like I said, there, there certainly seems to be a, a number of uh, risk-off events this morning. Okay, certainly in, uh, indicating potential uh, risk aversion. So we'll certainly keep an eye on that as well. Okay, now in terms of, of the French CAC, let's just bring that up for you. Uh, daily chart, French CAC. Again, you can see we're into gap fill support. There is another gap below. You can certainly see that on the 60-minute chart. There's a gap here at. Uh, 4409 the next gap is seen at uh, 4390 so they are the two potential support zones for the french cac if the market continues to be bearish then you are going to see uh, a move potentially even lower okay now FTSE 100 FTSE itself certainly uh, under immense pressure today mainly due to the fact that opec failed and also due to the fact that uh, we had this uh, brexit concerns certainly being highlighted over the weekend and as you can see here bearish engulfing candle quite an impressive bearish engulfing candle although we are now into support we failed to hold support of 446830 um, we've actually dipped as low as uh, 6815 which is pretty impressive okay again looking to hold support looking for a bounce here now on the FTSE 100 especially given the fact that oil prices have held that $44 level okay so again looking for a potential bounce here okay folks keep an eye on that 10 minute chart the FTSE 100 again it seems, certainly seems to have put a potential bottoming tail here at 6816 okay again looking for a potential bounce here we failed to hold the um, pivot S, uh, S3 okay we failed to hold support at 6830 as well and for now we certainly seem to be languishing around the 6820 zone and again like I said looking for a potential bounce okay so looking for a bounce 
in uh, the European markets. Okay, that certainly seems to be the scenario. Uh, Euro stocks 50, let's just bring that up for you. Okay, Euro stocks 50 again into gap fill support. So European markets certainly into support for now. And we'll see how the markets react from that support zone. So certainly looking for a bounce here, folks. Okay, looking for a bounce on the Euro stocks. Uh, and a 10 minute chart at the moment, you are looking at support. You're putting a bottom into 2973. Again, looking to pop. We are below S3 as well, which is quite quite uh, disturbing. Okay, looking for potential S3 to come back into play. Looking for the 3000 level on the upside. Okay, with regards to the euro stocks. So certainly oversold for now. Bearish news all factored in. Okay, looking for a potential pop. Okay, on that note, be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. And certainly take advantage of the 25% bonus. Bearish news certainly has been factored in from Deutsche Bank concerns in the Asian market. Now looking for a potential pop in the European markets. Goodbye now.